And welcome back to The Daily Wrap. Hillary Clinton's email scandal continues to present serious challenges to her efforts to win the White House, as more than half of Americans now find that she's dishonest and untrustworthy. A new Quinnipiac poll out today bleh, finds that 61% of Americans now say Mrs. Clinton is not honest and not trustworthy, her worst score since April. And to make matters even worse, the poll also finds that most voters associate the word liar with Mrs. Clinton as well, along with the previously mentioned descriptors untrustworthy and dishonest. Guys, you know, I don't know how she overcomes this, but we wanted to know what New Yorkers had to say about it. So we sent our own Nora DeBroder out on the street to ask them what they think about Hillary Clinton's honesty and trustworthiness. I'm Nora DeBroder for Newsmax TV. Hillary Clinton started off strong in her run for the Democratic nomination, but now 46% of likely voters are saying she should suspend her campaign. What do New Yorkers think? Let's find out. I don't think she should suspend her campaign. I don't think this you know, tells the viewers one way or another, or the, the American people one way or another, whether or not this makes her qualified to run a country. Well, certainly there are other Democrats uh, that have thought about running for president that smell blood in the water. There's no question about that. Joe Biden's looking about jumping in, and uh, which I think is would be a, a game changer, certainly. So, you know, again, we'll, we'll see what happens. It, this is not the first scandal we've seen with the Clintons. They've been able to survive through the others. And it's clear we've seen from the poll that a lot of people think that she shouldn't be running. Um, but ultimately, Democratic primary voters are going to have an opportunity in Iowa and New Hampshire to, to figure that out themselves. Well, I don't know. Some people, a lot of people may not like her, but she's a hard, you know, kick-ass woman, you know, and you need someone in there who's, you know, going to be tough. Um, I think that everyone who's in the campaign has something that they're probably hiding. Um, I think that Hillary has good intentions, so I would probably say that I think she should still be able to run. No, I don't think she should suspend her campaign. I mean, I mean, uh, who's, uh, what do we have? No, I don't think she broke the law. I don't know if we, we have enough uh, evidence to determine that yet. I think it'll be interesting to see more and more as we delve into these uh, emails, whether she has or hasn't. If she broke the law, which has not been proven, then she should step down. Yeah, that's what I think. I think House Republicans, I think the Department of Justice, they're going to have their hands full to, to really delve in there and to see whether she really broke the law or not. But certainly the, per the perception is that she broke the law. The perception is there's something to hide. And I think sometimes perception is reality in politics. Talk about breaking the law. Everybody, you know, if I don't care if the president breaks the law as long as he's doing it for us. <laughs> you know, it, I don't mind the president being a conniver as long as you're doing it for the American people. You know, we need the best conniver that we can get in there. You know, actually, I want Warren Buffett for president. <laughs> so, guys, the answers seem pretty one sided, but we will have to just see how this all plays out. Back to you in the studio. Do you even need us here? I mean, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I think we, we'll be hiring the guy in the, the plaid shirt. I mean, he was. He that was, guy. He was uh, president of the pundita punditocracy. Whoa. Uh, I don't like even know what to say. <laughs> Actually, though, I, I thought it was interesting. The one person was talking about suspending the campaign, mm -hmm. which has come up. And it's obviously, if anybody knows anything about politics, suspending a campaign means ending uh -huh. a campaign. Yeah. So I'm not quite sure what that's all about. Although I, John McCain, you remember, did suspend his campaign oh yes. briefly to come back to Washington, yeah. D.C. For, for, for about seven hours, <laughs> yeah. as right. I recall. Exactly. Yeah. Right. I, I liked the guy who said that we need a conniver. A conniver in chief. Yeah. <laughs> and that she was a kick-ass one. But what is so extraordinary to me about this um, new polling is that it's been Hillary Clinton running against herself. Well, She's beating herself right, up. I mean, her poll numbers going down are entirely of her own making. Yeah. She hasn't had any serious criticism, clearly, obviously, from the Democratic Party and certainly not from the Republican Party. So she's sitting there, and I, I have this like mental picture of her like punching herself in the <laughs> face for the last four months and it's basically, uh, it. yeah. <laughs> yeah, bruising herself up. And if Joe Biden does jump into the race, that's going to be a very tricky position. I mean, he can't pile it on her. I mean, this is why not? Why not? I think, why not? It, I think it would make him look bad. I think it would be really nasty. Um, there was a few stories. 
has written about it last week or earlier this week when the polls came out saying that if it would be a really nasty fight. And I think that she, as long as she's sabotaging herself and he just focuses on the issues, he'll come out looking the best. Well, you know, Amy's right. We've been saying this for a long time. You know, Bernie Sanders may be up there running, but Hillary's running against Hillary. She has been all along and she's losing. (laughs) Both Hillary's are losing. So, you know, if there were a serious candidate on that side of the ledger, as Noah Rothman pointed out last night, they would be criticizing Hillary Clinton about the email server, about the Clinton Foundation, and they're petrified too because it's like, we don't want to hurt our chances to be vice president. That's true. But on the other hand, she's doing the job for them. So why go negative when she's doing it herself? I think every political consultant would say that. Now back to the package. When when your opponent is setting themselves on fire, you stand back and watch. You're right, you're right. All right, so you guys heard what New Yorkers seem to think about Hillary Clinton's trustworthiness, but we want to know what you think. Do you think Hillary Clinton broke the law with her email server? Let us know at NewsmaxPolls.com. Coming up next, we're going to do it. It's time to read some of your viewer comments. Don't go anywhere.